For as long as I can remember, dating back to Chapter 1 Season X, the casual and competitive players have had disagreements on basically everything when it comes to Fortnite. From the loot pool, to the map changes, to broken items, and now to cars in this current Season 3 meta. It's pretty clear that casual players want chaos and they want to have fun. They want content and they want lots of it. Competitive players want balanced items and they want their skill to matter more than anything else. They want to have fun as well, but in a different way compared to casual players. And I honestly think both sides are right. I truly feel it is up to Epic to make a decision by separating the casual and competitive battle royale experience. For the past week, competitive and casual players have been at each other's throats on social media. Most of the casuals love this season and most of the competitive players hate it. It's never really made sense to me why Epic has never separated the loot pool between the casual lobby experience and the competitive lobby experience, which is why I'm going to state my case on why I'm in defense of both sides of the coin and why I feel Epic needs to make a decision soon. But as always, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video, and use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me. Now, defending the competitive community. This includes tournament players, competitive content creators, and the top tier pros that have made millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars from this game. To really understand the competitive players, they grind this game non-stop. It is essentially their life. They eat, sleep, DM gamer girls, and grind Fortnite. To the top tier pro players all the way down to the cash cup warriors, or even the competitive players that just started, they play this game anywhere from 8 to 14 hours a day. From grinding box fights, to 1v1s, to edit courses, aim training, grinding ranked, and playing every tournament possible. They study drop spots, possible rotations, best loot they should carry, and so much more. And the casual side doesn't consider competitive fun, but this is what is fun to the competitive community. And I will say as someone that played competitive in chapter two, wasn't very good, but I did grind arena and I'd play in some tournaments. There is a different kind of adrenaline rush when it's end game in a tournament and you're clutching up for your duo or rotating together as the storm closes in while getting a eliminations. There's really not another feeling like it in Fortnite, so I understand why they find competitive tournaments fun. This season, their frustration has been all over Twitter, specifically Clicks versus some of the casual community. People have posted videos of Clicks' frustration with the season, and of course a lot of the casual community has responded to that with telling him that he needs to adapt, that he needs to stop crying. They're pointing out every single thing that he does wrong. And this is no shade to like anybody, everybody has their own opinion. Of course, it's Twitter, so everybody's going to call out everybody. That's just kind of how Twitter works. But telling them to adapt to a meta like this season is kind of interesting because all of it is really car based. And a lot of us casuals play zero build. Our world is completely different compared to the competitive world. But I'm not gonna touch too much on the Twitter drama. There's just been a lot of it where it feels like this is like Fortnite Civil War now. The casual and competitive community have never really liked each other, but it's just gotten worse and worse over time. And for the competitive community, they're definitely frustrated because of how much time they put into this game. And it doesn't feel rewarded when they die to a car with a turret or when someone jumps on their box spamming Nitro Fist. Because let's be honest, that's not competitive and there's really no skill with that play style. And whether you play casual zero build or you play competitive build, you know that isn't really skillful and you know that really isn't what competitive should be about. There's nothing skillful about taking your car that has spiked bumpers and a machine gun turret and just ramming it through a bunch of builds and running over somebody. Competitive players want skill versus skill. And that makes complete sense for that side of the community. They want to fight someone where it solely relies on gunplay and building skill. They enjoy the art of editing, build fights, and smart rotations. They have this competitiveness to them where they want to be the best and they want to play against the best. Not someone driving around in a car because that's not what they love about Fortnite. They want to win tournaments or at the very least win some money from tournaments or at least get their name out there as a competitive player. If you have a competitive bone in your body, you know Epic needs to make a change for both parties. Competitive needs a balanced loot pool where every game is decided by the skill and tactical awareness of the players. But like I said, I am playing lawyer today and I am defending both sides. So for defending the casual players, and this includes your everyday person, this even includes celebrities and directors like Rebel Moon, Zack Snyder, or Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, Civil War, 
Winter Soldier, the Russo brothers, they play Fortnite as well. This includes casual creators, lore explainers, slash theorists, and pretty much everyone else that just hops on a few hours a week like your uncle bob and for the casual community we have had a dry spell and if you've ever had a dry spell you know it is not fun and i'm speaking from experience for the casual experience we just want to have fun and enjoy our time on the game but the casual experience is a different type of fun we enjoy the wackiness and randomness that fortnite provides with new seasons and new updates but we really haven't had that feeling in a long time sure we've had new items with new seasons but we haven't really had any content that has completely changed up the game like we have with cars this season it has created absolute chaos this season and for a lot of people it has been a lot of fun so far the casual community embraces this chaos and doesn't take itself too seriously and that is a huge difference between the competitive and casual community and the casual community feels that epic will cater to the competitive community whenever they cry on Twitter or social media, which was proven right a couple days ago. I was making this video and I saw that Epic had tweeted some nerfs they made to the vehicles in Nitro Fist while also adding boogie bombs. Now these aren't huge nerfs that will ruin the cars or fists, but these balance changes do come off as catering to the competitive community. But even with those changes, the casual community is still going to find a way to have fun, unless you're ninja. I have seen so many tweets and YouTube videos from the casual community about how much they're loving this season. And I agree with pretty much all of it. I consider myself more of a casual player with some competitiveness in me. I like to win, I like to get eliminations, but I also like to have fun with my friends and mess around. I mean, car fights really aren't my thing, but I will hop in the car with the squad and shoot out of the window like we're on some GTA shit. And I've also had a lot of fun and laughs with this new season, like when my trio stole a team's car when they went into the bunker, which is why I think I understand where both sides of the community are coming from. But in all fairness, the casual community needs this. They need Fortnite to, well, feel like fortnite fortnite is anything and everything anything is possible in the world of fortnite and the casual community loves to see that side of the game that doesn't take itself too serious the casual community wants the goofy and overpowered items because they're fun sure they might be broken but at the end of the day, they provide laughs and some fun content. They love to adapt to new items and new play styles because at the end of the day, it's fun and that's what is Fortnite is all about. It's an ever-changing live service game. So the solution. So after defending both the casual community and competitive community, it is pretty clear that these two sides will probably never get along. The competitive community has a tendency to feel that they're better than the casual community, but what both communities don't realize is they need each other. This game does have a great eSport aspect to it, so we need a competitive side in Fortnite, but we also need that fun, goofy, ever-changing, casual side to the community community as well. I do believe the world would look like this though if the casual and competitive community ever got along. As I mentioned earlier, I understand both sides of the argument, so there really is only one solution in my opinion, separate loot pools. And this has been talked about for years, but I feel like with this season it really shows that Epic needs to make a change for both the casual and competitive community. The competitive community needs basic loot, so their tournament play is completely dictated by their skill and decision making. The casual community needs, well, anything and everything. They embrace the chaos, but at the end of the day we can all agree we love this game and we want to continue to play it. We want to have fun while we play Fortnite. Both sides want what is best for the game for their respective community, and I I think that is fair. Hopefully one day Epic makes that decision and separates the loot pool and I think we will get there one day but until then enjoy season 3 because it is truly unique and fun and I'm so happy we finally have a desert biome again. Also the battle pass is fire and I can't wait for that Pirates of the Caribbean collab but I hope you have a great season and enjoy your day. Peace!